Welcome to another episode of the Seller Series. This is episode 2003, three, three it is. So what I wanted to do today was I received an email this morning and I thought this is gonna be an absolutely great video to talk about when this situation comes in. Now, what it is, it's all about building and pests. What do you do as a seller if you get a buyer that comes through and has done a building and pest and then asks for a massive price reduction? Okay, so let me paint the scenario for you. You're a seller, you're on the market and you've now received uh, an official contract and you're now officially under contract subject to conditions. Normally finance, building and pest. Now, what we often see with building and pest inspections and it depends on the agent and I'll run through some scenarios and what we can do here, but generally they have about seven or 14 days for the buyer to perform a building and pest inspection. Now, what that means is they uh, engage a licensed builder to come through and pest inspector to come through and check the home to make sure that the home is stable, there's no major issues or termites, moisture, structural damage, things like that. But what we often see with uh, buyers is because the market at the moment is quite competitive, buyers are generally paying a little bit more for their homes than what they would probably like to. What they actually try and do, and we know, and they've been doing this for years, is they actually then use the building and pest to try and knock a few dollars off. So I'm here today to tell you how can we stop that from happening? Because as a real estate agent, it is one of my biggest bugbears. I absolutely, absolutely hate it. Okay, and I'm gonna talk about the scenario that we just got whacked with this morning. So we've sold this property. It was multiple offers, the situation, and it's a really tidy home, only 10 year old. We've had painting done, carpets done, professionally staged, and the whole home has been pretty well looked after in that entire 10 years. Nothing that we could see, but we're not builders, but nothing overly too bad with the property. Anyway, the buyer has got the building and pest done, Okay, and then we've come through and the, the inspector has said there's some drainage issues. Now, to put some context around that, we're in the middle of some floods up here right now. We've had constantly about 10 days of pure constant thunderstorms and floods and rain. So there's gonna be excess water laying around. Doesn't matter how good your home is, you're gonna have a fair bit of moisture laying around the property. So in the report, it's come back that uh, there's a lot of damage done, there's a lot of drainage issues and a lot of things that need to be done with the property. And then what the buyer has done through their solicitor because they've now completely cut out all contact with us and that's generally what we find when there's issues with the property. It's really good with the agents between the buyer and the agent. And then when an issue comes up, they generally cut all contact with us because we're like the middle people trying to make sure that the process is running nice and smoothly. Then we get whacked with a letter this morning, us and our seller, that they were looking for a $23,000 price reduction. $23,000 for a couple of drainage issues. So it got me thinking. How can we stop this from happening? And what should you do if you're a seller and you're in that situation? So the number one, or well, the very first thing that I'm gonna say, and what I've already said to my seller is, terminate the buyer. Now, a lot of agents would be scared to tell their seller that. Now, I'm that confident I will find another buyer. And I know that the issues that have been raised, it won't cost 23,000. Now, the thing that really, really bugs me when we get this, now, and, and this is not having a go at building and pest inspections. One of my best mates is actually a building and pest inspector, okay? So this is not to actually just ruin what they do, but what we need to understand in, and the way that building and pest reports work is the building and pest report is actually written by insurance companies. The inspector fills in the blanks. So the reports could be 50 pages, 100 pages long. They're quite scary when you actually read them because they need to cover their butt due to insurance because it lays on them. Need to understand that as a buyer and as a seller. Now, the other thing is we need to understand these people are licensed pest inspectors and they're licensed builders. They're not licensed plumbers. They're not licensed electricians. They're not licensed plasterers, tilers, roofers. So when they give their opinion, I sort of try and challenge that because they're only builders. They're not licensed. What they should be saying is you need to engage a licensed plumber to check this. Get a structural engineer out to do this, whatever it might be. So then we, we got whacked with this $23,000 price reduction 
instantly I said, no, let's terminate the buyer, okay? Let's not play the game and we want to see the quotes. Now the thing is, there was no quotes provided. So where did this number of $23,000 come from? It's a guess, an estimate. I'll give you another scenario. Same suburb, we had a buyer that asked for a $40,000 price reduction. 40,000 from, and we're like, how are we justifying this? A couple of cracks in the concrete. Oh, the side fence is leaning over a little bit. Well, you would have seen that when you purchased the home. You did walk through the home. You made your home based on what you could see. These are superficial things. A building and pest inspection or the report should be stuff that you can't see. Inside the walls, the cavities, are there leaks? Is there moisture in showers? As normal human beings walking through homes, we don't see that stuff. That's why you engage them. But superficial stuff like that. So in that scenario, what we actually did is we also terminated the buyer because as a seller, you have the right. If a, if a buyer comes through and it's under contract subject to the building and pest inspection and they come back through solicitors are requesting things to be fixed or a price reduction, you as a seller can say no to it and actually terminate them. They lose the house. So what we did in this scenario, and I love telling this story, is they asked for a $40,000 price reduction. Guess what? We got everything that was on that report fixed for $980. Two weeks later, we ran an open home. We were still talking to that buyer because we're trying to find them another suitable home. And it was just a passing comment. Hey, you know the property that you had under contract? We got everything fixed. You wouldn't believe it, it only come to $980. Guess what? They brought the home. Funny story that, isn't it? So what you need to do as a seller, you need to be very, very strong. Now, if there are issues with the home, don't get me wrong. If there's termites, moisture, and some major big problems that you didn't know about, then you should renegotiate. But when you've got superficial things that they can clearly see when these buyers are walking through, or as agents, we clearly point them out to them before making their offer, so their offer is reflected prior to getting to this stage. Then they come back once I've spoken to their solicitor and the solicitor is sitting behind his desk going, oh yeah, let's get some money off for you, because that's the solicitor's job. The solicitor is working for that purchaser not you, the seller, your solicitor is working for you. Just terminate them or ask for quotes. Where did you come up with this magic number like this one that we're dealing with at the moment of $23,000? Now, I understand this happens all the time, but there's one tip that I'll leave you with. The best way to stop that from happening is investing in a building and pest inspection prior to you going to the market. Now, general building and pest inspection should cost anywhere between four to $500, depending on the size of your home. That way, you'll be equipped prior to you actually going to the market on what problems are actually in your home, because there might be things that you just simply can't see. And because the buyers are super fussy, a couple of leaning over posts in the, in the, in the side fence, some cracks in the concrete, a washer that needs replacing, they're gonna come back and ask for a $5,000 or plus when simply we could get it fixed for like $80. So invest in a building and pest. It will save you all this trouble. Thanks for watching the Seller Series. I'm Chris Gilmore from All Properties Group.